Have you been struggling with AI characters that look completely different from one scene to the next? This problem has driven so many beginners in AI filmmaking crazy. But here's some great news. Kling AI has finally given us a solution. That frustration ends today. I've cracked the code to creating mind-blowing videos with characters that stay exactly the same, frame after frame after frame. Watch as I reveal how to build perfect AI characters with Kling, swap outfits with one click, create natural sounding dialogues, and nail that lip syncing. First up, we reveal the secret to training perfect character models. Yes, I'm talking about Kling AI's new feature custom model. Basically, it's a trained model of a specific person or character that maintains consistency. Getting started is super easy. You'll need a Kling AI subscription first. Just log in, look for that custom model button on the left sidebar, and click it. Now here's where things get really interesting and complicated at the same time. Kling doesn't work with just images. It needs actual videos to train your custom model. And they're pretty specific about what they need. Short clips, like five to 15 seconds each. High quality, we're talking 1080p, either landscape or portrait of your choice. Frontal face videos, looking directly at the camera. Face gotta be crystal clear, no face covering, no blur. Lighting matters big time, make it bright and even. What if you don't already have videos of the character you want? No problem. Let me walk you through how I created the main character for my short film from scratch. Transform your still images into training gold. I started with a character portrait I generated using Leonard AI. It gave me this amazing base image to work with. Then I uploaded this single image to Kling's image to video feature with various prompts. By tweaking the prompts each time, I was able to create 11 different videos of my character, each one showing different angles. Of course, Kling isn't your only option here. You could also use Runway or Minimax to turn your still images into videos. But since we're focusing on the Kling workflow, let me share some pro tips. Since the requirements for videos uploaded to train models are pretty specific, your prompts to turn images into videos need to be strategic. For variations, use prompts like character turns her back to the viewers and walk away, or a video of the character starting from a close-up portrait and transitioning to a full body view. The key is creating diverse angles, but still consistent footage that meets Kling's quality standards. Now, let's go back to Kling and start the training process. Click on click and drop and upload your first video. This should be a frontal face video where the character is looking directly at the camera. Kling will analyze this and tell you if it meets their requirements. Next, Kling will ask you to upload more videos of the same character with different expressions and from different different angles. Here's where those videos I created come in handy. But be careful, Kling is pretty strict about consistency. It might reject some videos if it doesn't think they match your primary reference video closely enough. Hit train and be prepared to wait a bit. My training process took around 1 hour and 40 minutes. Once it's complete, you can find your character in your asset. Unleash your character with just a name mention. After training, you can start creating awesome videos featuring your character by just mentioning their name and prompts. But there's a trick here. I strongly recommend adding specific details about your character's appearance in your prompts, especially hairstyle and color. Why? Because if you skimped on training videos, some features might start to drift a bit without these extra prompt cues to keep them in line. Let's talk consistency for a sec. Is it perfect? Not quite. I noticed some subtle differences in my character's appearance compared to my original images. But honestly, that's not Kling's fault. It's probably because I only used the minimum number of training videos. The math is pretty simple here. More training videos equals better consistency. If you want your character to look identical every time, aim for 20 plus videos instead of just the bare minimum 10. Here's my take. It absolutely makes sense in certain situations, like if you you're creating a series with the same main character appearing throughout multiple episodes, making commercial content where brand consistency is super important, building a virtual influencer that needs to maintain the same look across platforms, working on a personal project where you want to feature yourself consistently. The ability to just type a name and have your exact character appear in any scenario, that's mind-blowing. 
For serious content creators, this investment in time and credits opens up possibilities that were impossible before. Instant outfit changes? This virtual try-on will blow your mind. Now let's look at something cool. Kling's virtual try-on feature that lets you change your character's outfit. You'll find this option on the left sidebar. Click All Tools, then AI Outfit, and select the second tab, AI Virtual Try-On. Here, you have two upload spots, one for your character's image and another for whatever outfit you want them rocking. For example, I whipped up this killer holiday outfit by using the prompt ultra-realistic designer Christmas sweater with sparkly details, studio lighting, crisp white background, then I uploaded my character's photo alongside it. Hit that generate button. Voila, Isis is wearing my Christmas sweater. Want to see your character actually moving in that new outfit? Just hit generate a video and you're instantly in image to video mode. I typed in woman smiles and waves at the viewers and I got this video of my character smiling and waving in that outfit. I mean, can we just take a moment to appreciate how impressive this is? Create conversations so natural you'll forget they're AI. Remember our sample film? You can create natural sounding conversations like that with a tool called Play AI and it's completely free. When you select the playground in Play AI, you have two options, narration with one speaker or conversation with multiple speakers. Creating professional sounding narration has never been easier. Just select the narration option first. It's as simple as copy paste. Got a script you wrote? Awesome. Generated some lines with ChatGPT? Perfect. Just dump that text into the box and choose your narrator's voice. They've got tons of options with different accents, ages, and vibes. Once you find the one, hit that generate speech button and you are good to go. What if you want a back and forth conversation instead of just narration? Switch over to the second option. You can assign different voices to each character in your scene. Maybe you want your detective to sound gruff and serious while your witness sounds nervous and high pitched. Again, setting up the dialogue is stupid simple. Just type speaker one followed by their line, hit enter, then speaker two with their response and so on. Once you've got your dialogue laid out, smash that generate speech button again. The quality is impressive with natural pauses, ums, and realistic intonation that makes the conversation feel authentic rather than robotic. All right, let's try this again. What happened the night of the murder? I need you to be straight with me. I, I told you, I don't know anything. I was just, I was just walking home and I, I heard a noise, okay? A loud noise. The lip sync showdown, Kling vs. Runway, who does it better? Here's a hot tip from professional AI filmmakers. Lip syncing is a lifesaver for creating realistic character videos. I've tested Kling AI's lip syncing feature and let me tell you, it's some useful stuff. One huge advantage Kling has over the competition, its ability to handle dynamic scenes. You can have all kind of motion in the background and the lip sync still looks fantastic. This gives your videos that authentic, cinematic quality that viewers instantly connect with. Now, let's talk about the competition for a sec. Runway Act 1 uses real face tracking for lip syncing and delivers some seriously powerful results. But, and this is a big but, the scenery behind your character tends to be static and lifeless. It's like your character is trapped in this frozen world while their mouth moves. Not exactly what we're going for, right? Kling is still the better choice. Quick warning about using Kling's lip sync feature though, you might occasionally get this super annoying error message saying your audio contains sensitive content. Don't freak out, it's just a glitchy bug in their system. Usually just re-uploading the exact same file works perfectly fine. Oh, and something crucial to remember, Kling currently only handles about 5 seconds of lip syncing at a time, while Runway Act 1 can handle up to a full 20 seconds. So if you're working with longer dialogue, you need to plan accordingly. The bottom line? For short, dynamic scenes, Kling is your go-to. For longer, more controlled environments, Runway might be your best bet. Mix and match depending on what your project needs, that's what the pros do. Wow, can you believe what we just covered? From consistent characters in Kling AI to outfit swapping, natural dialogues, you're now basically an AI filmmaking wizard. All those hours of watching characters change faces between frames? Gone forever. You've got the power now. 
Want to try these amazing AI yourself? All links and resources are awaiting you in the description. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.